This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create a responsive three column web page layout using HTML and CSS. Let me jump over to my web page here. This right here is what I will be creating, just a three column layout. I'll be using VS Code in the Google Chrome web browser. Let me jump over to my desktop here. On my desktop here, I'm going to cre uh, create a folder. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to New and over to Folder. And I'm just going to name this folder Test. Hit Enter. And now I'm going to double click on this folder to open it. And inside of this folder, I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to right click, go down to New, over to Folder. And I'm just going to call it CSS. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to jump over to VS Code. Okay, I've got VS Code opened up here. First thing I'm going to do is uh, find that folder that I just created and named test. I'm going to go up to File, down to Open Folder. Then I will find the folder. I named it Test. I'll click on it. I'll click Select Folder. And now I'm going to create my HTML and CSS files. I'll create my HTML first. I'll go up to File, down to New File. Now I'm going to save this as an HTML file. I'll go back up to File, and I'll go down to Save As. And I'll just name it index.html. And I'll click on Save. Now I'm going to create my boilerplate. I'm going to do an exclamation point, and then you can either click on the top wrench or hit the tab key, either way. And there's my HTML boilerplate. Now I'm going to create my CSS file. I'll go up to File, down to New File. Now I'm going to save this as a CSS file. I'll go back up to File, down to Save As. And I want to put this file in my CSS folder here. So I'm going to double click on my CSS folder. Then I will name the file style.css. Then I'll click on Save. Now I need to connect my CSS file to my HTML file. I'm going to click on my, my index.html file here. And just above the title tags, I'm going to put my cursor right up here. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type link. Then I'll click on the wrench that says link colon CSS. Kind of a little shortcut there, as you can see there. Now the only thing I need to change is my CSS file is in a folder named CSS. So I'll put my cursor right in front of this S on style and I'll type the name of my folder, CSS, forward slash, and then that is the exact name of my CSS file, style.css. Everything is case sensitive here. And to check to make sure that you have this set up right, you just put your cursor over that style.css, and you see that follow link appears. Click on the follow link, and it'll take you to your CSS file. It is connected properly. I'm going to go back over to my index.html and I'm going to close my uh, sidebar here. You can leave yours open, but I'm going to close mine. I'm going to click on the Explorer just to give myself a little more room here. And I'm going to go up to File and down to Save All because I want to save both of those files, my HTML and my CSS. Save All. Okay, I'm going to start coding my HTML file here. In between the opening and closing body tags here, I'm going to put my cursor in there and I'm going to create a div. I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing div tags there. And I'm going to give this div, uh, the opening div tag, a class. I'm going to put my cursor right after the V. I'm going to make a space and I'm just going to call it class equals double quotations, 
and in the in between those double quotations, I'm just going to call it all rows, all dash rows. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that closing div tag, and I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to create another div tag. I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing div tags there, and I'm going to give this opening div tag a class also. I'm going to put my cursor right after the V. I'm going to hit enter. Class equals double quotations. In between those double quotations, I'm going to call it all dash columns. Then I'm going to put my cursor just before the, uh, just after the second double quotations there. I'm going to make a space and I'm going to give this a background color simply so you can see what's going on here. I'm going to type style equals double quotations and in between those double quotations I'm going to give it a background color. Background dash color. colon and I'm going to go with light blue. I'm going to select light blue. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that opening div tag. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to do an H1 here. And the text that I'm going to put in here is uh, left column. Then I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that closing H1 tag. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to create a paragraph. And in between that uh, those that opening and closing paragraph tag, I'm going to type lorem. Lorem 50. And then you could either click on this wrench here or you could hit the tab key and it'll give you 50 words of lorem ipsum text. Now to take a little shortcut here, I'm going to copy this part of the uh, code here. I don't want to go up all the way up to that top div and I don't want to include that bottom div. I'm going to go right click, copy, I'm going to put my cursor at the end of this div right here. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to hold down the control key and hit the V key that will paste. Now I'm going to hit enter again and I'm going to do the same thing. Control V to paste it twice. And the uh, I need to change a couple things here now. On this second div here, I'm going to change the color to light cyan. I'll leave the color on the last one. I need to change my H1 text here to middle column. And on this last uh, div here, I'm going to change it from left column to right column. So now I've got left column, middle column, and right column. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save, and I'm going to see what it looks like so far. I haven't added any CSS, so this isn't going to look right at all, but I'm going to go down to my, I'm going to open my folder, and I'm going to double click on that index.html file. And as you can see here, I've got three rows. I don't have columns yet. I've got rows. I'll have to set up the uh, columns in CSS. Let me jump back over to VS Code. I'm going to jump over to my style.css file here. And I'm going to call on all of my elements in this area. I'm going to make the asterisk that's under your 8 on your keyboard. I'm going to make a space. Curly brackets. I'm going to hit Enter to separate my curly bra brackets. And I want to make this uh, box sizing border box. Box sizing border box. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last curly bracket. I'm going to hit enter twice. And I'm going to call on my all columns class. Period. All dash columns. I'm going to make a space and I'm going to make my curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter to separate my curly brackets. 
and now I want I want these columns to float left float colon space left semicolon I'm gonna hit enter to go down to the next line now this is going to be three columns so I'm gonna give it a width of 33.33 percent .33%. width colon 33.33 percent .33 semicolon now I'm gonna hit enter every line should have a semicolon after it I'm gonna give this a padding I want my text to have a padding of 13 pixels padding colon 13 pixels semicolon I'm gonna hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm gonna give this a minimum height of 350 pixels min height colon 350 pixels semicolon now I'm gonna hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm going to give this a border simply so it's easier to see what's going on. Border colon one pixel space solid semicolon. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I'm just going to make my text inside of these columns center aligned. I'm going to go text align center, text align center. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last curly bracket. I'm going to hit enter twice. And I want the floats I want to clear the floats after each column. I'm going to call on my rows, all rows class, period all dash rows colon after Now I'm going to make my curly brackets. I'm going to do a space, my curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter content colon a pair of uh, empty quotations and I'm going to put my semicolon after that I'm going to hit enter I want this to display table oops I left out my s display colon table semicolon I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line and I want this to clear both clear colon both semicolon I haven't added my media queries in yet which makes it responsive but I'm gonna see what I have so far I'm gonna go up to file down to save I'm gonna go back to my web page and I'm gonna hit refresh now I have my columns but when I downsize it's not gonna be responsive I'm gonna hit the uh, minimize it's not going to be one bit responsive and this probably isn't what you want what we're shooting for I'm gonna click on my uh, first tab there that's what I had already created when it gets down to a smaller size if you add media queries it, it becomes responsive for like tablets and uh, cell phones but right now we're we don't have that yet I'm gonna hit maximize I'm gonna go back to VS code I'm going to put my cursor at the end of that last curly bracket. I'm going to hit enter twice. And I'm going to type at, at media screen space and space. And I'm going to make some uh, parentheses. And in those parentheses, I'm going to type max dash, dash width. colon space 768 most tablet screens are 768 pixels px I'm gonna make a space I'm gonna make more curly brackets I'm gonna hit enter to separate those curly brackets and I'm gonna call on my uh, all columns class period all columns dash columns space curly brackets I'm gonna hit enter to separate my curly brackets and I want to give this a width of 100 percent what this means is a screen below 768 pixels it goes to each column goes to 100 percent width colon 100 percent semicolon 
Now I'm going to go back up to File and down to Save. Then I'll jump back over to my web page here. I'll hit Refresh. And now when I downsize, it goes to Over Under. When it gets down to a small screen size, it goes to Over Under. When it gets to the larger screen sizes, it goes to three columns. But that is how you make a responsive three column layout using HTML and CSS. Let me know if this helped you out at all and thanks for watching.